Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Mike from TBR. Today, we're talking about the Seahawks versus the Eagles, two teams that are in first in their respective divisions. The Eagles sit at 3-6-1 and one, and in first in the NFC East. And then we have the Seahawks, who, you know, pretty pretty similar record at 7-3. and three. Oh, I don't know how that's happening, but... All right, the Eagles kind of need this one to, to hold the lead in that division because the Eagles right now have a half game over all three other teams. And then we have the Giants who play the Bengals. They probably, I think they should win that game. And then the Cowboys play Washington. So one of those teams is getting four wins regardless. So if the Eagles don't win this week against the Seahawks, who are 7-3, they're not going to be in first anymore. So let's talk about Philadelphia first. Philadelphia has been having a rough time moving the ball offensively. Their defense honestly played really good against the Browns. They had a big turnover and then the offense kind of fumbled things, specifically Miles Sanders. The Eagles were honestly looking good against the Browns and then Miles Sanders fumbled the ball in the red zone and turned it over. A lot of media people are saying that Carson Wentz is the main problem on this offense and I disagree. He has no time. He's the most, statistically, like he actually is the most sacked quarterback in the NFL. And if you watch a game, if you watch five minutes of the game, it makes me, it makes me want to throw up. I'm an Eagles fan, and Carson Wentz gets sacked in less than one second every play. The offensive line has collapsed as an organization. Defensively, things are a little sketchy. We honestly haven't been playing that great. I've seen a lot of dropped interceptions, which, you know, obviously at least they're in the right spot, but we got to make the big play. We can't just, you know, have potential. We got to finish the play. On the other hand of things, we have the Seattle Seahawks, who, in retrospect, their defense could be in question too. The Seattle defense has let up a lot of points. It's, you know, it's not bad to the degree of the Cowboys, but it definitely hasn't been performing well in the last couple weeks. Now their offense though, their offense has really, really, really good talent. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, Russell Wilson, Chris Carson, four really good players. I don't know how they all ended up on the same team. However, Russell Wilson, you know, as of late, similar to how their defense hasn't been playing good, he is, he's thrown a couple bad throws lately. So I expect Russell Wilson to, uh, you know, definitely step things up as the season goes on. It's ridiculous to expect perfection from Russell Wilson every single game. So we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. But the, the Seattle offense definitely has the ability to move the ball. And I expect him to do that easily against the Eagles. So why would I choose the Eagles, who can't move the ball offensively, against the Seahawks, who can move the ball offensively with ease? Is the Eagles' defense better than Seattle's? I mean, I guess it's definitely, they're both, you know, they're comparative. So if Seattle's offense is way better, why would I pick the Eagles? Which is my logic right here. I have to pick the Seattle Seahawks against the Eagles. It hurts. I remember the game against Green Bay last year when the Eagles unexpectedly beat Green Bay in Green Bay. But I don't think it's going to happen this year in this game right now. I think Seattle should be favored to win against the Philadelphia Eagles. Like, comment, and subscribe.